Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to do your own service for your laptop Lenovo Flex 14 and this includes cleaning up the fan, repasting, so flip it over, unhook the battery by removing to the lock unlock position and the right one to remove it to the second position and hold it there and slide the battery the outward. Next you want to start removing all the screws from the bottom including the one under the battery also remember there is a two plastic covers here on the each side which helps lift up the laptop you have to remove those they look something just like this but smaller and thinner one they are located here you have to lift it up with a plier or with a screwdriver and now let's go ahead and remove all the screws All right, now that we got all the screws removed, you wanna grab your laptop in 45 degree position or just anywhere that you're comfortable. I recommend you guys to grab a guitar pick, which is thin and hard to bend. And you wanna place it right in between the orange and the black plastic in front, not the yellow and the black, just the orange. And you're gonna start putting it there and you want to twist it and bend it slowly just the front side of the laptop if you want you can go all along, around it but with the front side it should be enough alright once you got the front side up slowly lift it up, jiggle it around and it will come out eventually once you got that out now on this end you're going to see the fan, the CPU and that's the heat sink right there so let me zoom in where we're gonna work. So you're gonna be focusing on this area. First thing first, you wanna remove the cable for the fan just by unhooking it, removing it towards the um, internet cable side. Just that it can be really stuck. Just remove those. Let me see if I can focus it better right there. Once you remove the fan. Now go ahead and remove the four screws that hold in the heatsink to the CPU. Remember the screws they have a lock mechanism so it won't come out. They just just try to unscrew them and that's it. Leave them there. Unscrew the screw that holds the heatsink on this end and the fan to the board. Alright, once you got those out. Remove, grab the heatsink and just lift up the heatsink. And there you go. And you have your old thermal paste right there. And you want to remove the clean up the thermal paste. Also, you want to clean up the fan if you want to clean up your fan. Just go ahead and remove the four screws which are holding the black cover right there. So. I have the camera on my way. Once you remove the four screws, flip it over. And you can go ahead and detach. Make sure this foamy thing at the bottom. You have to remove this foamies. Also remember on this end there's a tape right here. You have to remove this tape. Right there, remove the tape. And at the bottom, remove this. Formies. And that's your fan. Now you can go ahead and with a toothbrush slowly start gently clean the fan blades. And once you clean it up, just put it back together. Slide it down. Once you put the foam back in, then you're gonna go ahead and put the screws back in.
All right. Now that we put the screws back in, again, if you guys want to, I'm going to show you guys. You want to grab an alcohol. And you're going to rub off the hits, the old thermal paste of the crystal, of the CPU. And you're going to start rubbing around until you remove everything. I'm just doing it with my finger now a little bit because it's really hard then. You only need to remove the clear the thermal paste of the die, which is the crystals of the CPU. You don't have to go clean up the whole CPU as long as you clean up the crystals and that's it. Now you can go ahead and clean up the heatsink too. Alright, once you clean those up, you want to grab a thermal paste. I recommend you guys use an Arctic Silver 5 or MX4. I use both. In this case, I'm going to use the MX4. I use my Arctic Silver 5 on the GPU more than CPU. Just place a little bit on the CPU. Not too much, not too little. Just about the right side. Now you can go ahead and put the heat sink back on. And put the four screws for the heat sink. And uh, make sure you always put the cable for the fan. Some people always forget it. That's very important. Once you put the screw, the cable for the fan and that's it. You all are done. Now we're gonna put back the cover down. Grab the cover, put the hinge side down first. Squeeze it down, make sure you hit the click sign, push the sides, don't push in the middle. Once you got those in, now we're gonna put all the screws back in. I hope you guys like this video. If you like the thumbs up, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. And if you guys subscribe, it motivates me to make more videos and answer your questions. Now right, let's go ahead and put this through. Alright, now that's it. Now you're going to put the battery back down. Slide the battery in from the back side. Put the lock position and... You are all done. Thanks for watching guys and I see you guys in the next video.